Hi Saints, um, today is the 4th of July. I don't celebrate man-made holidays, but I do have the holiday off from both of my jobs, so I'm home right now. Um, this is, if you want to call it breaking news, you can call it breaking news, but I feel that this needed to be brought to the attention of the church. I talked about this before. You already know that I feel as though the gospel needs to be preached. You already see the title of the video. And you need to see this. Now, I wish I could show you a visual of this video. I tried to use Snagit, but I had some issues with it. So I'm going to leave the video link in the description box below. And also the gentleman by the name of Ryan who exposed that, you know, this pro this studio isn't as leg legitimate as you make it. You know, her studio, Anita Fuentes, that she's trying to raise money for is not her place. I mean, it's, it, it's not as legitimate as she makes it seems. Anybody can post pictures and take pictures and show you some fake pictures saying, oh, this is my studio. This is what I'm donating money for. But how do you know if they're telling you the truth? Does she show you documentation showing that she's purchasing that studio? Does she show you like a contract or anything? No. So you can't take what Miss Fuentes says at face value or no false pastor or preacher for that matter. I'm going to play something for you. Her latest video, she's asking for $1,000 minimum per donation. Apparently, she's not making enough. You see, people were donating $50, $20, $100, 150 Only a couple of them donated $1,000. But... Not all of them can afford a thousand dollars. So this is her mind frame. For those that donated fifty, a hundred, two hundred, two or twenty dollars, you're not helping me. You're not cutting it. I need people that have more money, that are more rich. This is not my mind frame. This is Miss Fuentes. That are more rich, that can help me get my hundred grand quickly. Now greed is a very ugly spirit, ladies and gentlemen, and so is Jezebel. Now, um. I told you all in my prior video broadcast that she was going to ask for more money, and I'm correct on that. Now, I'm letting you know I won't be surprised that if she ups that so-called GoFundMe drive from $100,000 to maybe a million, like she tried to do the last time, or two million. So I'm going to let you hear this, and then I'm going to put the video link below, and I'm gonna, I'm, I may stop in between. I'm going to stop for a moment. She doesn't need all that. She does not need all that. Because YouTube provides free airtime. All it takes is one soul to hear a righteous message and spread it and make disciples of nations. She doesn't need all that. Airtime, satellite, this, that, and the other. Ladies and gentlemen, that is nothing but a bold face lie. She's using Jesus Christ's name to profit off of. And instead of repenting, She's a very defiant Jezebel. She puts up a video begging for this money. Now, I just checked her GoFundMe page. And, you know, obviously there are blind people out there. Not everybody, but there's lots of blind folks. Lord, just, Lord Jesus did say blind people will be leading the blind. She has $6,390 as of right now. As of right now. So apparently she's not making enough of donations to reach her hundred grand. Obviously, this woman wants to support her extravagant lifestyle. There's a debate going on whether she owns her home or not. Look, I believe she owns that home. 
So Ryan, if you're watching, bruh, the first video you put up, I believe you were right on point. You were right. So the reason why I'm saying this, ladies and gentlemen, is because when a person buys a home, whether they pay for it cash outright or they get a mortgage, it's recorded on a deed. To A deed is a legal document to indicate that that individual is the owner of that home. Okay? It's recorded in court records. It is still is recording court records and is made available to the public. Okay. The reason why I know this is because I own a house. My brother owns a house in uh, Colorado and he just made his last payment on his house. He's been paying for it a long time. And um, when you buy a house, it's recorded in the court records and that's made available to the public. Now, it's not, you can get it online, it's not free. You may have to pay a couple of bucks, but you can get those court records. You can get bankruptcy records. You can get criminal records on someone. It's made available to the public. Do I agree with that being made available to the public? No, I don't. I really don't. It's, it's messed up, but it is. So if you wanted to find out if she owns her house for sure, yes, you can go ahead and obtain those documents. Also, Anybody can remove their address from Google+. Plus. Now, here's my thing about her. If she didn't own her house, she would leave her address there. But if you go to Google+, Plus, somebody pointed out that she removed her address or she changed it. If you notice that on her EMOAF page, she took out her address there and she replaced it, I believe, with a P.O. box. That's the last time some, um, somebody checked. Um, unless, of course... She put up, she put her address back up there. I had a few people email me saying that they were thinking of donating her, but they wanted to check into her first. And then they were the ones that pointed out that she had a P.O. Box address on there. She no longer had her street address. So I went to check, and her street address, her P.O. Box was on her EMOAF website, her Anita Fuentes website. They were on there. Her physical address wasn't there anymore. That was as of a day ago, unless she put her physical address back. I don't know. Let's continue. I'm going to stop there. Didn't she tell you all that her, her uh, station or um, her ministry reaches worldwide? So why does she need different languages? All the person has to do, you see, YouTube has this, has this uh, language preferential option where you could change the captions as to how it reads back to the person, like the bottom line headers. So let's say if a person's watching a video in English and they're Chinese and they don't understand English, the video caption could be uh, changed to Chinese. That way, when, it, when they're listening to the English video, it's being read back to them in Chinese. Like these words show up at the bottom of the screen. It's like a, uh, they're called headers or caption. That can easily be done through YouTube. You don't need all this, oh, and, and this and that kind of language. That's, that's nonsense, ladies and gentlemen. Let's continue. Do you see how they're using God's name to sell? Without your financial support, many will perish in these last days. How do they know that? Ladies and gentlemen, Jesus controls everything, okay? You don't need all this fancy equipment to get the gospel out. You can even go down to your street corner and preach. Or you can post the gospel on Facebook. Or you can do it on YouTube or a free radio ministry. You don't need all this. YouTube is available worldwide barring some of those countries that you know block youtube but for the most part it's available worldwide let's continue making this broadcasting studio church and purchasing the airtime on these platforms costs so much and we're believing that in the midst of the precious donors who can give that there will be a few of you that will step up and make a thousand dollar donation or more did you hear that 
She's asking you all for a thousand dollar donation or more. These are some of the most greedy people I've ever met. Now, I've seen greedy people, and I'm sure that there's worse outside, but these are these fake pastors that pull this to you all. They're greedy, they're all about money, you know, they're all about fame, they're all about riches. Whoever says, and I had some people make some stupid comments to me. Forgive my expression, ladies and gentlemen, please. But I actually had someone tell me that Jesus Christ required that we pay for the church and that we be blessed with riches and that we have nice things and nice cars. That's completely contrary to the word of God because I showed you scriptures where Jesus said to not be conformed to this world in any way, shape, or form. Don't build your riches on earth, build it in heaven. And for the love of money is the root of all evil. And what does it gain a person, right? What does it profit a person when they lose their soul and gain, when they gain, when, what does it profit a person, right? When they gain the world, the fleshly and material desires in the world and lose their soul in the process. Whatever happened to God being first? Whatever happened to God being in the church? Whatever happened to God being number one? Whatever happened to living for Jesus rather than in the flesh? Whatever happened to preaching the gospel free, free of charge, okay? Rather than charging people a thousand dollars or you're gonna die. That's basically what she's saying. You pay a thousand dollars or you're gonna die. That's what Catholics do. They make you pay, right? So you can get a seat in heaven without any repentance. And it doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. I'm going to continue. One more clip of this. Put your hand to the plow right along with ours and help us reap this end time harvest of souls together. In Jesus' name, amen. Ladies and gentlemen, do not fall for that. I'm telling you, do not fall for that. I care about all of you, all your souls. Even if I end up staying here, being left behind and it's God's will that I preach during the tribulation whenever that is I'll follow the father's will okay but I'm just telling you guys out of love for all of you I'm telling you guys that the Lord warned that false prophets pastors preachers and leaders would rise in the last days and this is evident and that their love will wax cold and they will be lovers of the flesh they will be lovers of money. They will be greedy, coveting. You cannot sit here and tell me that this is right. Thousand dollars or you're going to die? That's basically what she's saying. And I'm going to play the clip back again. The only way. Put your hand to the plow. And we're believing that in the midst of the precious donors who can give, that there will be a few of you that will step up and make it thousand dollar donation or more you heard that a thousand dollar donation or more is what she is asking you people for i told you people that she is going to ask you for more money i told you that you could play my video archives i said that okay and she did i'm telling you people i won't be surprised if she increases her so-called gofundme drive Look, ladies and gentlemen, this makes me, this begs to differ, what about the IRS? You see, a charity, or a charity is a cause for the poor, to help the needy, whatever. She doesn't identify as that. She doesn't identify as a nonprofit. She doesn't identify as a church that helps the homeless or the poor. She doesn't identify as none of that, as a nonprofit at all. So what does she identify as when she, when she, what does she put on her tax returns? None of my business, but this is what I'm saying here, okay? If she's reporting her donations as income on a tax return, the IRS is going to want to know, okay, it's a donation, but for what cause? Are you a charity? Are you a nonprofit? What are you? If she doesn't identify as either or, just a so-called ministry that's not even licensed, I don't think she's licensed, okay? The IRS is going to audit her. The IRS is going to order her, and I know this because my brother's an accountant, and he has seen it happen. My dad is an accountant, too. He knows about this stuff way more than I do. So 
Um, that's why people are turning them into the IRS. Look, test the spirits, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to leave the link for this video that she put up below, plus the